So we've covered a lot of the big sites in Texas, and you guys have had fun recommend those. Now let's broaden a little bit. What are different parts in the U.S. you guys have gone to, and for what reasons, and what was that like? So uh, when we came here in fall, fall 2016, uh, in the winter break, we all went to New York and Boston. Mm -hmm. So that was a trip which we had almost planned since uh, we were in India. So when we met in yeah. India, we, we were starting to plan the trip. Okay. And um, so we, we, we were gone for like 12 days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, around 12 days. Around 12 days, days yeah. Okay. And we, we were in New York for five, five days, days and then, mm -hmm. and then uh, for the rest of the day in Boston. So we spent the New Year's in Boston. Mm. Yeah. It was pretty warm there, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you live on the in the Arctic, then that was warm. Okay. <laughs> and, but, but with, with the amount of alcohol that you have, everything's warm. Okay. <laughs> That's one way to keep warm. Oh yes. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, what were some of your favorite highlights of the northeast part yeah. of the U.S.? It's so cold. New York, mm -hmm. New Let's start with that. Okay. And so, winter times, yeah. it's going to be cold. Yeah, and it's yeah. white. Okay. And it snows a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, these guys will tell you about New York. But, uh, everything about New York is like amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, uh, the b best part was we reached New York quite late at night. Okay. Uh, around 10.30. Uh, and we came out of the... Uh, we went by bus. I yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we mm -hmm. came out of the bus terminal. And uh, I saw pe pe people on the street. It was crowded. Okay. And we are not used to that in Dallas. Because yeah, in Dallas, so you, I felt you don't see anyone on the exactly. uh -huh. roads. So you, f you feel like you are in Mumbai. Back in yeah. Mumbai. Yeah, so the hustle Mumbai. and bustle. Yeah, that, was, that was a very good feeling. Mm -hmm. Mumbai, so. Yeah. <laughs> felt like home. Felt like yeah. home. Yeah. 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 Dallas is so spread out. and right. doesn't. And especially near the university, you don't see many people late at night. Late, late at night. Yeah. yeah. So that was a good that, feeling. That was a very good and feeling. We, we got off at the Port Authority uh, okay. bus terminal. And when you get out of the bus terminal, you're in like the heart of New York. Hmm. And it's just so crowded. You're near the Times lights, Square yeah. and Manhattan and yeah. The lights in New York. The So in Dallas, you won't hear people honking. But when you go to New York, that's the first thing you hear. <laughs> it's that cars are honking away. All the taxi and wallows. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's and awesome. Then I went, went to New York again, uh, mm -hmm. January this year. My, my dad was visiting. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I again fell in love with the city. Mm. I can. Uh, if you, and now we are going again. We are going again yeah. next week. So. You're going again? Yeah. Whoa. Again next week. So. At least it won't be winter time. It'll so, be yeah. summertime. And so, what's yeah, the one thing you're sure. excited for this upcoming trip that you that you want to do in New York? Well, uh, it's just that we want to show up. Because mom's house. Ah, yeah. okay. Because we have been there, so we know. But you know, each time you go to New York, you get the same feeling like, mm -hmm. wow, what a city. Mm -hmm. But for them, it'll be the first time that they'll be going to such a huge city. Yeah. And the first time is always the best time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's great. So, what are some other places you guys have enjoyed traveling in America? So, um, I uh, was in uh, Washington DC for my internship, mm -hmm. so I was basically staying in Maryland uh, and I was working in Virginia, but those three states are so close together that you, so I, for me to go to Virginia from my house, I used to cross Washington DC every day and it's mm -hmm. a very small state, mm -hmm. so it takes like half an hour to cover the entire state, it's, okay. like, it's that small, mm -hmm. so yeah, that was the capital and uh, I've enjoyed a lot of museums over there because mm. the Smithsonian Museum, all of them are free. Okay. Uh, just a few of them are paid, uh, so you can go, you can just walk in there and without a ticket, and so that's a really good thing. And mm. all the museums have a different, uh, you know, um, they they are also so different that each museum you go into, you see a completely different thing. Mm. So Washington DC was really good. Um, I have also traveled to New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommend that everyone who comes to Dallas at least should uh, go there for a weekend or so because it, it is a really wonderful city. Um, it's got a it unique its, culture there. It's had, it has a unique culture. Um, the jazz culture originated in, uh, mm -hmm. in New Orleans. So. Um, you, if you go to Bourbon Street, which is like this famous street in New Orleans, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find jazz pubs on both sides of the street. Wow. And while you're walking on the street, you'll hear all kinds of music uh, mm -hmm. coming around. So that's a really beautiful thing. Mm. And did you like the Cajun food? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, mm. it was really good. It's kind of spicy, almost spicy. like Indian food, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 it's yeah, the closest it's thing in authentic American food yeah, to exactly, masala yeah. desi food. And yeah, the seafood in uh, New Orleans, it's really good. So if anyone is into seafood, then mm. they should try that. Awesome. 
And there are places you guys have covered? So, yeah. I had been to Chicago because my aunt stays there. Okay. Yeah. So Chicago is also really nice. The downtown is very, uh, it's quite spread out and mm -hmm. they have the Willis Will 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 Tower. So that's like the second tallest building in the US. So, and they have the sky deck where you just see Chicago from top and mm. it's all glass. So it, it's really- Was amazing. it scary? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, it is scary, <laughs> but you enjoy it. and. Apart from that, Chicago has this dip dish pizza. That oh, yes. So you cannot, you cannot dish dish that. Pizza. You cannot yeah. that. I'm already Chicago. craving that. <laughs> we'll be in Chicago this time next week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Next awesome. Week in Chicago. So I'm, I'm really craving the deep dish pizza. Mm. So maybe what are some like couple differences from you guys home in India and US in terms of travel, road tripping, traveling? You know, like. For someone who's coming here for the first time and they want to go take a weekend trip or visit, visit someplace in the holidays, what do they need to know in terms of differences or how can they plan and to do things well here and not have surprises or make mistakes? So one thing I would recommend is get, get a driver's license as soon as you come here. Okay. As, as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. it, first of all, it serves as a very good ID. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have you to don't carry your passport, passport around. Mm, yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, in India, uh, we rental cars, there's no concept of rent a car, or it's just coming up. Just coming, yeah, yeah. So it's very easy to rent a car over here, drive mm -hmm. it yourself. And how is it very expensive here? It's, it's it depends. Well, I mean, again, the it's, it's not very expensive, but but it also it's also not tiring here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because in India, because of the traffic. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So the roads are very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're pretty straight. Uh, you can you can drive for a, lo a longer time. Mm -hmm. you, you don't get mu much yeah. tired. I mean, the uh, distance you can cover in the same time in India is almost as half yeah. as what you can cover over here. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, that yeah, the roads are really beautiful. Like some of the road trips that we've been to, the roads have been so smooth that you don't even know that your car is going mm -hmm. beyond a certain speed limit, hmm. you know? And How fast do, do people get to drive here in the US on the highways? 75. 75. 75. So what's that in kilometers? Uh, it's like 130. 130. 140. 130, 140. Yeah. 130, yeah. So freeways, if you are tailing someone, you can you can go up to 80, 90, 95. So that that's like 160, 170 kilometers. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, right. it's hard to go that fast in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got it's potholes or speed breakers. Yeah. Or yeah. Only there are a few yeah. roads like the expressways yeah. where you can drive. But then that you like have one your only own only speed limits in India, India. India. Mm -hmm. and the road quality doesn't yeah. match. I remember yeah, yeah, even in Bangalore, like you couldn't go more than either 60 or 80 kilometers an hour yeah. was mm -hmm. the speed limit, even if the road was oh, really good. Yeah. Is it? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so, well cool. Any other tips about travel or encouragements to people who are coming to the US? Well. Travel as much as you can mm -hmm. while you are a student because once you start, uh, you know, your uh, jobs, uh, apart from weekends, you won't be able to travel much. Hmm. So I know that many people come here with loans and, um, you know, it's not that easy to spend that much money for traveling. Hmm. But then at least once a semester, you can go somewhere close by. Or, use the holidays. Yeah, you yeah. use the holidays, the long weekends, something on those lines. Uh, so that you can enjoy your stay in the US. Yeah, you, you won't get this time back again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you start working full time, uh, you, it, it's just the weekends that you'll get, or the long weekends. Yeah. yeah. And we are at the cusp of that. So like we have finished our two years, uh, you know, being a student. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to be starting our jobs soon. So yeah, we are just going to miss out on all the fun. That That's why had. you're taking a, one more big trip, you know, <laughs> while <Yes>. you can. <laughs> One, one more Sneak time. one more in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Well, yeah. These guys have definitely taken advantage of their time in America and hopefully it's an encouragement and inspiration to you guys to take advantage of America and a new place and new people and new sites to see. So yeah. thanks so much for sharing guys. That was awesome. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, thanks for joining us at Chai and Coaching. See you guys next time. Yeah. See you. Bye. Hey friends, thanks for joining us again at Chai and Coaching. Hope this will help you to be successful as an international student here in America. Please subscribe, like, follow, share, comment below um, or on our other platforms online and continue the conversation, help each other out. So yeah, it was great having you join us at Chai and Coaching and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.